It is frightening. I would say only 20% of the dealers I talk to on an initial consultancy have any sort of self-inspection process. It's simple. You set up a couple Gmail accounts, you buy a throwaway phone so people don't have your number or your home number, and you mystery shop. But honestly, the best is third party because as any process that's not necessarily directed to someone's compensation, it gets pushed to the bottom of the priority list. I think we have to establish performance goals for our BDC and more importantly, there has to be some simple reports that we create that will allow the dealer principal to lead with confidence. I can't encourage you enough to consider how poorly we are educating and investing in our BDC, our phone and internet departments. We had a lot of experience, Glenn and I, in the call center business. One million phone calls a day, 8,000 people a week working on the phones. Every two hours, we took a break in the phone room to have a coaching session. Every two hours. Because they were handling 50, 60, you know, calls an hour and um, or attempting to contact people and it really beats people down. And what we found by coaching people every two hours, rewarding that person, hey, Bob just did a great job on this call, this is what he said, this is what we're reminding people of the basics. We had to do that every two hours at very high intensity. What are you doing in your call center, in your BDC to coach, to promote excellence? Someone gets a great review. Hey guys, listen, uh, Leslie did a great re got a great review on Google. Look at that, praise, coach, and inspire.